dear learner now we have to design our column so to design column i'll take a necessary step here see you know how load actually transfer load transfer from slab to beam beam to column column to foundation so when we have found all load on beam then now we are ready to design that column okay so how the beam transfer the load to the column okay so over the beam we have found some load like uh, lb per feet okay and we know that the half of the load from beam will transfer to that column and half of the load will transfer to that column again half of the load from that beam will transfer to this column and half of the load will transfer to this column also from this beam half of the load will transfer here okay so okay so now we are ready to design our beam actually uh, we didn't uh, calculate it load for that beam so i will assume a b uh, load uh, for that beam okay as uh, we have calculated previously in that way so uh first of all from that point to that point how much load uh, it will tr uh, transfer to our column we'll go here so total load total dead load and total live load for that beam that is uh, for beyond that is total dead load plus live load so uh, if i take another text font okay so let's say b1 dead load live load what is that dead load is 6 7 3 point 5 okay uh we'll calculate summit total dead load is 6 7 3 point 5 7 plus here dead load is four three two that's four three three and we'll divide that load with two okay because half of the beam load will transfer to one column and another will transfer to another column so this is our load from beam on for live load here we have total live load plus 97.6 okay done now for that beam here 9 on 4 point four nine six four plus okay divided by
Okay. Now we'll calculate total load. So how we'll calculate total load? See, the load we have calculated. Uh, this load is per feet. Okay. Now we have to take half of the beam length. That point to that point. 15 feet 8 inch so, so this is the half of our this beam length it so what will be the total load Is the total load okay total dead load from on beam and um, again this dead load this is it this will be the live load okay so this is total uh, dead load this is total live load for beam on uh, i mean load from beam onto column then uh, for uh, this beam we'll now calculate in same way nine feet and ten inch so this, this is the total length let's say 4.92 so what will be the total load okay so um okay this is for from beam on beam to now if we consider this beam as a, a beam three okay and uh actually um, i didn't calculate it load from that beam okay, so let's assume a load on beam uh, when you will calculate the load on beam on this beam then for this triangular and for this triangular 
you have to calculate it with self weight of that beam clear so uh, i hope uh, you will understand or you will be able to do it now uh, i'll consider let's say it's b3 b3 and i'll consider this load will be 2500 pound and live load okay let's consider three zero so we have assumed that value actually okay now we have to calculate total load total dead load and live load total live load that will be and if we divided that value with 1000 then we will give that value in keeps okay done so we have uh, calculated all dead load and live load on our i mean on our column now from on on floor now our building is two story so we have two slab and on ground floor okay so um almost three so if you you have any change on your second um ground floor or first floor or second floor then you can um, go with that change but uh to avoid complexity of our calculation i will not go with uh that types of calculation so what we'll do i will uh, just see here for my uh, this floor and this floor uh, everything is almost same that's why i'm going to this is a ground floor and this is a typical floor so we have two types two floor like that and all floor like that so we have i, I mean the first one is ground floor second one is uh, above ground floor and uh, and that will be first floor and uh, the roof is above first floor so we have three slab total three slab um, almost so uh, i will uh, multiply that value with p so if we multiply that value with 3 then which value will get actually we'll get total load acting on foundation and uh, also we have to calculate or we have to add it uh, be a column self weight with it that's it actually so uh, first uh, calculate uh, okay take a, another slide here
ओके ना ओके नाउ आई विल यूज कैलकुलेटर दिस इज आर टोटल लाइव लोड फॉर थ्री फ्लोर एंड this is our total total dead load and live load acting on sorry i may be acting on we'll act on footing and the bottom column now also we need the self weight of our column from above float so uh, we have total roof then first floor ground floor and here is the foundation so what will be the total 10 10 and here let's say 8 28 okay and as uh, it is a a small structure okay let's consider our beam column size will be uh, 12 into 15 12 into 15 or 12 into 12 okay so if you go for 12 into 12 that means sorry 12 into 12 means on fit into on fit uh it's the cross section then on a square it's uh on a square feet it's is uh, it's cross section and uh the total height is 28 so total volume sorry 28 so total volume is 28 feet cube into 150 so this is the total load actually okay four two zero zero and uh, if we divide it with egg hazard we'll get that value in 4.2 so our previous dead load was 28.75 plus 28.75 that's it so this is our total load if we add 4. Point, maybe 2 done now actually by using that two value we'll design our column and also our foundation okay so let's go for uh, column design using an excel sheet